Hey everyone, you're watching Wisdom Shorts. One day a man named David, he hopped into a taxi, he was heading towards the airport. The driver was cruising at normal speed in the right lane. Suddenly a red car, you know, zoomed out of a narrow road and almost colliding with their taxi. You know, tires screeched and hearts raced. The disaster was averted by mere inches. The driver of the red car, you know, he came out, he was furious and shouted at the poor taxi driver. But the taxi driver, a middle-aged man, he just smiled and gave a friendly wave. So surprised by this, you know, David asked the driver, like, why didn't you react? You know, he was so rude and it was not your mistake. So with a smile, the driver shared his simple life philosophy. He said, sir, many people are like overflowing garbage bins. Their hearts are heavy with stress, anger, sadness, all those negative emotions. Sometimes they just want to throw this garbage onto someone else. And when they try to throw this garbage on to you, don't take it personally. It's not about you. Just smile, wave and continue on your path. Your happiness shouldn't depend on others' negativity. Because life's moments are precious. You know, why waste, waste them holding on to someone else's garbage? So by the time they reached the airport, David felt lighter, grateful for this unexpected life lesson. So by the way, this is a real story and his full name is David J. Polley. The lesson was so profound, he ended up writing a book about this. The name of the book is The Law of the Garbage Truck. Three key lessons from this book. Number one, respond, don't react. Life will present situations where others might unload their negativity or garbage onto you. So instead of reacting impulsively, take a moment to respond with understanding and calmness. The taxi driver's choice to smile and wave is a perfect example of choosing a balanced response over a reactionary one. Everyone has their story. Just as the taxi driver mentioned that many people carry a heavy heart full of stress, anger, sadness, all those negative emotions. So it's crucial to remember that everyone is battling their own challenges. It's often not personal when they unload their frustrations. It's just their way of coping. So this perspective can foster empathy and patience in our interactions. Number three, Protect your peace. Your mental and emotional well-being should be, should be your priority, your top priority. Just as David learned, you shouldn't let someone else's bad day or someone's bad mood impact your own. So maintain boundaries that protect your peace and choose to let go of this negativity. And remain light and positive. So let me show you a demo. So imagine this is your mind, okay? And mind is filled with a lot of garbage, negative emotions. This is stress and fear, anger, sadness, all those negative emotions. So, I mean, if you fill it more, then what happens, you know, it, it all flows. And sometimes you feel like throwing this at somebody. So the first thing to do is to understand, and if, especially if you have negative emotions, just open it and reflect on it and put it somewhere else, you know, maybe under this right and keep your mind empty so this is what happens you know, when you go and meet a you know counselor or you know therapist you know, that they will help you to kind of understand reflect and uh, bring that awareness and they will try to fold it neatly and you know put it aside and what we have to do is once you empty this we have to fill our mind with positive emotions so the right thing to do is to fill your mind with positive emotions like love or gratefulness, you know, positivity basically. And when you fill it, you know, with a lot of positivity and even if it all flows, it's fine. And you can even, you know, throw this at people, right? It's all good. Uh, so even if there is some garbage down, if you can actually fill your mind with positivity, you will radiate that, right? So just put a conscious effort to do that. Thank you so much for watching. I am Srijit Krishnan. Stay happy, stay healthy.